lovely to have you back in the studio, Jenny. And it's great to be here. It's a wee while since I was last here. It certainly is. Well, time flies. It time does flies. indeed. And I know you're a busy girl. Yeah, but done lots of sewing, our and Valerie. You're gonna, and you're going to share. What I lovely am. quilt are you going to share with well, us today? I've always wanted to do a quilt made of strips. Strips going across of different blocks. So I've decided to make one that sort of had a story behind it. And behind the quilt, I was only going to use fat quarters because I got a whole load of fat quarters, as you do. So every single piece on this quilt comes from a fat quarter. And I, in fact, had 36 different fat quarters. Well, I think I could do that. <laughs> yep. I had bright stripes and pale stripes. I had bright dots and I had pale dots. Yeah. And I had bright brights and I had the pastel ones. So you're getting a bit of contrast, even though they're Absolutely. all nice and bright. Absolutely. Yes. And so only fat quarters were used. So anybody wanting to make this just needs fat quarters. Brilliant. They could use any of the fat quarters up you like, because it's a real scrappy quilt. Okay. Let me show you how it works. So this is the top. And the top is the night sky with the moon, or it could be the sun if you wanted it to be, it doesn't really matter, and some stars. Then you've got the geese flying across the heavens. Then we've got a bit of the sunset because as the sun goes down, you get the wonderful sunset streaking across the sky. Then outlined against the back of that deep sunsetty sky are the mountains. In front of the mountains comes the water because you often have lakes in the mountains. And of course, lakes will probably have a beach and you could have a pebbly color here. Then we come down to the forest. And this is the forest, the dark forest, the deep dark forest where the bears and the grizzlies live. And as you come out of there to the little houses, here are the cozy cottages with the snail trails in the garden. And if the snail trail flummocks you, I've got an alternative. And then below that, we come into the neat and tidy municipal gardens. The flowers and things get added at the end of the quilt. Beyond the gardens, of course, is the promenade and the beach. So here we've got the beach with the beach balls and some food, because you've got to have some food when you're on the beach. Beach has the waves evenly coming in and out. And on the high seas sail the little boats. And all the way around the edge basically went the offcuts from the bits of fabric I had left. And not only did my fat quarters give me enough to do the quilt, I also had enough to do the back. Oh, clever you. Which I just used from literally, I cut the biggest squares out I could. Uh, occasionally I needed to piece it, but that made the back. I then found some new wadding, or certainly new to me, this stuff, which is an inexpensive wadding. It's an 80-20 polyester. Oh, I like 80-20. And what I liked about this, Valerie, was it's very soft. It was very quiltable, either by hand or machine. There's a piece here big enough in that size. Of course, you can get much bigger if you wanted to, yeah. to do the quilt. It draped nicely. It folded it nicely. Gorgeous. It's really yes, nice. It is. Really and you know, it's the nice. same mix as most of the other things. Yes, it's um, yes. the eighty twenty. But they mix. do feel very different, don't they? They do feel you know, very different. But this sort of flowed no, and this sort of nice, cozy. Cuddled up. Yes. Yeah, it really, is cozy. Really nice, nice, nice to use. And I know it gets sandwiched in, but we've got to work with it. So I think it's got to feel nice for yes, us too. Yes, and if, when you pick up some of the waddings, they, they catch on your hands, but this doesn't. This no, has a very silky smooth, I was going to say, smooth feel to it. Definitely no, I, I like nice. that. Definitely nice. Almost oh, could well, have it just as the back by well, itself. You, yes, you, you probably could. could. You could. So there you are. So there we are. But you're also going to introduce us to some of, some of the new templates. Yes, because we haven't used all of these templates before. And there are going to be templates from the Drunkard's Path. There's going to be the Trirex. There's going to be the Companion Angle. But we will give everybody an option where we can for sizes to cut out if they haven't got the templates. Okay. So and don't feel duty bound. Okay, but they are safe to use with the rotary cutter. They are all they're safe to use with the rotary cutter. Idea. All six millimeter toughened acrylic so they're absolutely fine to use with that and they're all multi-size templates where possible oh, what a great so we've got idea. new templates lots of fat quarters it could be a great scrappy quilt well I think so 36 fat quarters need, yep. to, go, need to go looking you need to go looking definitely go checking those out so let's go and hang this so let's behind us on the wall I quite agree we'll make a start <laughs> <laughs> 